welcome to part two of the show. My name is Jez. I'm Cody. I'm Carlos. And I'm Andres. And it's Talks of Sports. Your favorite. Yeah. Mine? Yes. Personally? I don't know. You're supposed to be like, yeah, sports, sports. 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 Big Poppy Ortiz. Big Poppy. Big Poppy. Wait, hold on. Show up, show up. Wow. <laughs> Shout out uh, 14 Ounce Vintage on Instagram. <laughs> 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 Sorry, no, there's like a lot of sports that I like, but I, I, I like just like to watch. Baseball, basketball, and soccer would be like my main ones. Mm -hmm. Not like I don't yeah. understand you, hockey. Too mm, much. Oh, don't worry. It's like, I, mean, it's like, <laughs> yeah. I, I just know because it's a, it's a custom. I, like my, my dad's a fan, I guess. So oh, I yeah. just know by passing because he talks to me all the time. But other than that, it's not really, I don't pay attention yeah. to it too much. Um, um, you know, about four years ago, was mm -hmm. it four years ago that we watched our Jay's uh, game? No, not oh, Jay's no? game. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the the uh, uh, Columbia uh -huh. game. Oh when yeah, guys, when they play in oh, the, the World playoff? Cup. Oh, the World Cup. Oh, I don't 20, want to talk about that. 2018? Was it 2018? 2018, yeah. yeah. Oh, you started with a touch That was the last time we did kind of like something sporty together. Yeah. Sporty. And we went to, was it, we had the place? We went um, to Jack Astros. Jack Astros. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the last time we did something sporty, us three. And then um, we started talking about uh, playing some ball again uh, as like a group. So our friend group, we uh, haven't seen each other in a while. And we wanted to play, like, say, baseball. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just have fun in the sun <laughs> right, with, with these guys. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can do that soon. I can pitch, hopefully. but I can't run. Well, <laughs> if, 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 if you play some blitz ball, like, it's, it's kind of fun you play blitz ball because, like, everyone's kind of even yeah. mm -hmm. on a playing field. Like, even if you hit the ball square, it doesn't necessarily go far. Like, it is, it, you have to hit it a certain way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, even if, if you do, like, a half-ass swing, but if you hit it right, it'll go out. Yeah, uh, it'll still uh, go it's, far. It's just, it's just weird, yeah. 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 How it works. So that would be a good game for maybe we all could. Yeah. Because me and Jess and I have been planning that for a while. <laughs> yeah. Trying to run, run a tourney. Yeah, for sure. For you. sure. Your girlfriend was planning it too. And yeah. I was planning it. But like, so we it were, seems like everyone wants to do it. Yeah. yeah. We were all not planning it together. There you go. So we're right together. <laughs> go to the park. Bring some alcohol. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, that, I remember a couple of years ago, I went to, like, not went to, like, my friends were planning a. They told me baseball game. Mm -hmm. So I took my cousin and we got there and it turned out to be a. Soccer baseball, oh, that, that, <laughs> and it was just crazy. just strange. Funny. I was like, "Oh, not dressed for the right occasion, but let's go, let's do it." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, it was fun overall. Like, I really liked it, but I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. soccer baseball. I haven't played that since like elementary, elementary school. Yeah, it's elementary yeah. school. It's that thing where your gym teacher didn't want to do anything, so yeah. he was like, "Soccer yeah. baseball, let's go." Soccer <laughs> baseball. Here's the utility ball, and then go crazy. And, and all the studs are like, uh, uh, like already choosing a team, and all like I say, like the ones that don't want to play, like stay in the outfield, and like yeah. <laughs> if the ball comes to them, they like kind of like um, walk to it. Yeah. Yeah. And and someone like playing second base who's like who wants to play like goes out and gets oh. it. <laughs> so, I was that guy in gym class. <laughs> he would run. Yeah. No, I was the yeah, I was a I was a runner. I wanted to yeah. win no matter what. Yeah. He's a runner, he's a outfielder. Track star. Not, not a track star. <laughs> <laughs> he's everything. Yeah. You, you know, I I remember at Bridget's uh, someone hitting it over the roof. Really? Yeah, under the roof, like from from far. From far. Yeah. Wow. So people, people hit bombs. So there's, there's there was bombs in soccer bombs. baseball. I, remember I also remember people getting hit in the head. But in my elementary school, one of the best days we had, like I was a child, was. Um, I guess after all the years, there was so much stuff on the roof that the mm. janitor went up one day. Those days. The annual them, ball yeah. toss yeah. off the yeah. roof. So yeah, good. Happened. good day. Yeah, people so be scrapping though. They'd be like, that's my ball from last time. They're like, nah, yeah, I, nah. I got it from the top <laughs> of the roof. Yeah. I took it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. There'd be some politics. like some Once it gets tossed politics. off the roof, it's every man for themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody threw a wiffle ball bat up on our roof. How? That's, oh, like, wow. five, that's like a pound. I, I kept it. I don't know what happened. I remember someone throwing the shoe. So stupid. Like, they, like, I don't know how they did, you did it by mistake, but they were just doing, like, you don't do some stupid spinning. Yeah. And then someone just released mm. it and it went on the roof. It must have been <laughs> a... Uh, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you played, Andres? Because um, it, it's your first, like, right now it's your your first time on a show, but uh, Cody doesn't know that he played you played for North York before? I played for North York, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, what position? Uh, I loved first base, but I was too short for it, so I was mostly in the outfield. Oh, there you go. Do you, do you have a preference on uh, outfield? Uh, center fielder. I don't know. Yeah. Best. That's, that's where I played. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, it's Cody's, Cody's position. That's when I played too, when I was in, like when I was like seven. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count anymore. But, you know. I, I originally wanted to be, uh, like when I was a kid, everything was shortstop. I wanted to play shortstop, play shortstop, play shortstop. That's all I wanted to do. But 
I would be putting the elf because I was fast. Mm-hmm. Like I ride chart for this rep, my first rep team in grade. I was in grade eight, and then he's like, I, I was in the outfield one time, and he's like, "You're not outfielder." And mm-hmm. I'm playing shortstop no more. I'm like, okay. And then that was it. That was the end of shortstop, sadly. But I, I love center. Yeah. Yeah. But nowadays the shortstops are getting faster because you know if you the better the you can move laterally, the better. Yeah, had the had the agility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, um, I started as a. I, th- I started at third base. Um, I was like average height for my age, and then later on, all these like all these guys grew like super mm-hmm. fast, and I was like one of the shortest ones later on, and I just played catcher. But later on, I I knew that my arm wasn't the best, and um, yeah, I think after that, I I guess I stopped playing baseball because I wasn't able to play like the positions I wanted to. Um, they'd put me at second base, you know. I'd play like outfield sometimes. Like I'll play those positions, but. Um, I guess you get, you lose some interest because you just uh, you know you're not doing the thing you, you, that you wanted to do mm-hmm. in the beginning. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, that's good. So where do you play now? Do you still play? Uh, I don't. I don't. But um, Cody's team. He plays for like a men's team. He uh, he's um, they may be looking for another player. You know, hopefully I can get on that. Yeah. I'm yeah, trying yeah. to join a men's league too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, um, they're at the moment. Like I guess I I came on late. So I remember I mentioned the league's not bad. They have they're full of like there's a lot of really good players, like ex like rep players, some ex college mm-hmm. players, yeah. a lot of guys I played with that are really good, and then there's you know some guys that aren't that good. But you know it's it's, it's pretty good baseball. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I saw I put in a word for Jez. Uh, we were looking to maybe like ha- I call have a Jez as a call in just in case because I'm not sure if uh, for the season it's ready yeah. yet maybe. But um, definitely next season, like, that's what you said, because we need a catcher probably by then. Oh. I mean, we definitely need outfielders. Mm. But uh, um, mm. hopefully, I uh, mean, it's to have you two on the team as well. <laughs> yeah. um, our team's pretty good. We're first right now oh. in the league. Wow. Uh, I think in my first, I've had four, it's, yeah, four games in. I have, I, already, I lead the league in triples. Oh, already damn. in the four games. I have two. Yeah, you have two already? Two triples in four games. Wow. That sounds really fun. That's really cool about the men's league. I've noticed they keep a lot of that stats and everything. It's just nice, you know? Like... Mm. It's um it's Scarborough Men's League Baseball, so S A B L. If you ever like look up on it, I think that's the one of my friends in. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, he mm-hmm. probably is. Do you, do you know what your friend's name? Uh, he has name. Your name. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think of the team. The one he, he I think he plays for like East York or something like that. Oh, oh, and, and this like and this Men's League team is kind of funny. We're, we're named after like professional teams. Oh. So it's weird because like I'll pull up my team's the Braves. Oh, so that's a nice name. So we look exactly like the Atlanta, Atlanta Braves. Braves. Yeah, even wear the Atlanta Braves hat, and there's mm-hmm. like the Dodgers. Like this weekend, we just played the Oakland Athletics, but they're oh, not wow. Oakland. But we we played the Athletics mm-hmm. in a doubleheader, and then tomorrow I have a game. We're playing the Dodgers, and then on the weekend mm-hmm. we're playing the Giants. That sounds. That must be so fun. You coming home being like, yeah, I just have to go against the Yankees next week. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Actually, that, that's the first team I played for in the league. Oh yeah. Yeah, but then like teams kind of flip like add subtract sometimes but the Yankees don't exist in my league anymore oh, okay. and then after that I played for the Tigers oh, oh. wow and then I took two years off and now I'm uh, your resume must be looking just excellent what's the <laughs> what's the name I forgot what's the name when uh, the name for those guys in the leagues that are always moving around I'm a journeyman. Journeyman. That's yeah. what you are. You're a journeyman. I'm like a journeyman, but you're like, the first journeyman to ever hit 400. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a serviceable journeyman, but I'm like, it's, it's weird. Like some teams will call, like ask me like, yo, call you to play, and I'd be like, nah. Like, I'll just keep saying nah. Like the last two years, they asked me to play, but I'm like, I'm good. And then this year, I just felt like, uh, you know, I you want to get back it. into it. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I, the first game I didn't, the first game back, I didn't play that good. But after I hit the first triple, I remember like how nice it feels to like really square a ball up. I actually thought it was going out, but it takes a while to remember, <laughs> especially yeah. uh, especially the high speed pitching. Yeah, because you're used to yeah. It takes a while. It does take a while. Some it's, it's winning the lead too. You will see some guys that are throwing like Pikachu's up there. They're going so yeah. slow, and then there's some guys that are throwing darts. <laughs> yeah. So it's like it's a crazy. You don't know who you're gonna run into in the league. But um, yeah. I'll, I'll put a word in for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, I already put a word in for Jez. I wish I could. My uh, so you guys might not know this, but I broke my knee a couple of months ago, and I was like talking to my surgeon about it, and I was like, "So can I play sports? Because I like genuinely enjoy like playing sports." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He literally goes, "Yeah, in a year you should be good, no problem. Just can't be an umpire." And I was like, 
Okay, well, there goes my dream career. Of being an umpire, yeah, damn like, it. You could be an umpire. You can be an umpire? You might, as well, you might as well you be. Can be? He's, yeah, because they have to kneel for like long periods of time. Oh, like, so yeah. you can't be a catcher that's either. Yeah, you can't be a catcher that. for yeah. sure, yeah. yeah no, that's the one well, job he was like. Maybe like first base. Well, actually, maybe, modern catchers maybe. now go on the one knee. We know Buck Martinez doesn't like that. So. <laughs> Buck Martinez. <laughs> he has so many opinions, Buck man. Martinez. It's funny because he's a, he's a Martinez. My, la- my last name is Martinez, and he's, he's the only one that I don't like. The Blue Jays, Patty. Martinez beef. Martinez beef, yeah. He's just um, an old guy. It's okay. Old, I know he's, he's an old, old guy. guy. He knows he's, he knows his stuff. His, his, hair, does, his hair is so real. <laughs> <laughs> if you see this, honestly, it's kind of like a like it's like Donald Trump, but like yeah. white. And he he has a pure like um, his voice is killed kill me. He's a pure uh, he summer, was born to call summer tan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, summer tan. Yeah, he's like permanently peach. Per- permanently summer tan. Yeah, he's peach. permanently tanned. Like, I guess. I just like when you when you introduce the Blue Jays, it was always as well. Well, the Blue Jays, man. man <laughs> you just cut back from that Sports Now commercial. Well, the Blue Jays here. <laughs> yeah, every time it's like, well. Yeah. Well, oh. pal, we told you the Hazel May and Bra. He's like the apparently <laughs> kid, but with well. Instead yeah. of apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, my favorite Bob Martinez moments is when we used to have. Do you guys remember Aaron Hill and Adam Lind? Oh, yeah. Back in the day. Back in the so, day. So. When they were both good, he used to constantly mess their names up. He used to be like, he used to call, say, Aaron Lind and Adam Hill. And then he'd always be like, so he'd say like, okay, I'm too bad we have uh, Adam Hill, rather, uh, sorry, Adam Lind come to the play here. He just would keep messing them up. That's like one of my early memories. That and Jesse Lich pitching. <laughs> Jesse Lynch. Lynch. You remember Jesse Lynch or Josh yeah, Towers? Yeah, yeah. Some old Jays people. A bunch people. of old Jays. Old heads. Yeah. Some Brian Talad. Yeah, are, are you guys planning on watching the games uh, soon? Right. You went to one. I went to one. Yes, yeah. I oh, went, went to, to went to what was it? The f- fifth game back. So the second game versus Cleveland. It was nice. It was second really. Second game was that a. Uh, they, they won. They, they swept. They won. Yeah, yeah, they swept. They swept. It was the game where they start off eight nothing, mm-hmm. and then almost let them come back, and the game finished eight six. Oh, just to make it interesting. Just, yeah. to just to make it interesting, so we wouldn't be bored. Yeah, they planned that. They sure. planned yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's baseball. Yeah. Baseball. Yeah. baseball. <laughs> Did you see any uh, placards? Placa Close. <laughs> <laughs> Close. It literally bounced off the wall. We saw the Springer Dinger. Springer Dinger. Springer Dinger. <laughs> Yeah, literally, it was the not first at bat of the game because they were home. Mm. But literally, first pitch of like the Blue Jays, literally immediately just takes it, and I forgot what it was like to watch live baseball. They hit it so hard, you could just tell right off the bat the when crack it's gone. The, the, the crack. There's nothing. There's nothing like crack. it. I remember working at the stadium, and like like when I, when I worked there. As oh, you used usher. to work there. I oh, at the usher. Quite, oh. I worked there for quite a while. I was I worked food first, and then I worked. I was an usher after. But yeah. uh, something about like yeah, the crack at the bat, yeah. even though. The Rogers Center is a big slab of concrete. Um, <laughs> I think we have a nice stadium. It could be worse. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the, the Rogers Center. It's, have you like, been to it's the VIP outdated. rooms? Sorry? The VIP rooms, though? No, I have, yeah. Oh, they were so much better. Like, viewing it from up there? Mm. Yeah. It's just a way better experience. Something about, like... You've been there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, wow. so my friend's dad works for them, so uh-huh. he gets in for free all the time. Oh. So he's taking me to, like, maybe, like, five, six games, like, okay. up in the VIP rooms. And I remember the first time I went, I was like 12. No, 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 like 14 or something. Yeah. And we got all these drinks, like sodas and stuff. We were just enjoying. And then they go, how are you guys going to pay? A 14-year-old child does not have money. So I was just like, um, I... I can uh, do two jelly beans. Yeah. Uh, okay. Caramel, caramel no, candy. No, but, but watching the game from up there looks a little better. And then there's like TVs also because it's a little higher up mm-hmm. than you would see from down there. So, yeah, it's just better up there, I, I think. I, I guess like... Where do you th- so that's what your favorite place is to watch. Yeah. Anybody, where's your favorite place to watch the game? Like um, in, in the where's the Rogers Center? So is that somewhere where we've all been? Yeah. Um, I've sat a little bit everywhere. The only place I haven't sat yet is like right, not right behind home plate because obviously those are like the TD ones. Those are like a thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I sat pretty close. I've sat like really close to the away dugout to the point where like you could almost like bang on them if you really wanted to bother them. Mm. Um. <laughs> Those are nice seats. Only thing is you're watching it from an angle. I think the best seats to watch it from would definitely be the low level right behind the, the catcher. Yeah. But the best ones where I sat was right behind the catcher in the 200 level where all the f- foul balls come at you. Oh, that's, Ooh, a, good, that's, that's a good spot. Actually, that's the TD. Were you sitting in there when it was part of the TD comfort zone? Because when I worked there, 
those seats in the 200 level behind the plate were, were part yeah of it's TD a TD comfort zone, zone. I yeah. wasn't in the TD comfort zone I was like right next to it okay no, no, those yeah. are great seats those are those are good seats I've, I've ushered a couple of games uh, back there I think I, I've seen like, every single like angle I guess like game wise yeah. mm-hmm. but uh, I say like sitting I, I'll give mine later but I'm, I'm gonna let Jez uh, go with um, his yeah, I'm gonna start with like a funny story. Mm-hmm. So back in high school, um, we had a. It was like before high school, so it was like the frosh for high school. I forget the name, like summer school. Mm. And then um, it was like a smart start. So one of the days that we had planned was to go to a Blue Jay game, and none of my friends like really like were interested in baseball, and I was right. But so beforehand, we started playing like basketball in like the schoolyard. Uh, we're just like you know uh, working up a sweat. So I was drinking a lot of water, like Gatorade and stuff like that, right? And then um, next thing you know, like I was contemplating, should I go to the washroom now or like uh, I'll go later? And then we hit up like the the bus. And next thing you know, we were starting to move. And I'm like, shit, I got to use the washroom. <laughs> so I was like holding it in the whole time until we go to the Roger Center. And then Jesus, when we're there, okay. th- when we're there still, we, we got to like wait to like get everybody clear. Like, okay, you're there. How many? One, two call out, you know, call outs, you know, like when, where everybody is. And then we go up to the Roger Center like the 500 level so Ooh. i had to go all the way up you That's know all the way up way. still and i was like holding it in still and oh. once you're like okay guys find your seat and then you guys use the washroom and go and like oh my god and, and then from there like it felt so good like after going to the washroom so your favorite place is the washroom <laughs> in, the, in the 500 yeah. level yeah, yeah. i mean i've been there place. like the most time so i can't really relate to like other good good spots um i've been to the 100 level like uh if the if foul the, basis yeah. No, the, the home, line. the home run, home oh, run area. Oh, the bleachers. Oh, the yeah. bleachers. Yeah, that's a good spot. Uh, but when I was like a real, like when I was really small, yeah, back when it was Sky Dome, um, I remember bad. going the to the so right bad. side foul line. Yeah, around there, but I remember it was like super sunny, and it was like burning like my head, and my dad was like falling asleep. He's not a big like a uh, <laughs> big baseball guy, yeah, so yeah. I think we left around like the seventh inning. Oh, <laughs> so oh damn! It wasn't a good experience, so I'll just I'll say five hundred because okay. I think I remember the most. Five hundred up. Uh, that's it's not still bad. up there, you know. It's no five hundred behind the plate. To be honest, is a great view. Yeah, five hundred like, like behind the. Is, if you like that overview of the stadium and you're like behind the plate area in the five hundreds, you get a nice you get a nice view mm-hmm. of the stadium. The only thing I find funky with the five hundred is the ball. Like when you when you see a fly ball on the ground, it looks like a bullet. When you see it in the five hundred, it looks like it's floating. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a different type of like view, but it's still yeah. good. It's still good. It's funny because uh, I, w- I went to the Blue Jays game where I went to the 18th inning and I stayed for it all throughout. Oh, you, I worked that day. You, were, you worked that day? Yeah. 18 inning. That was, was that the team, it was the Canada Day one, right? Was it? I don't know. It was no, Canada Day, but was it was against... Seven, that was the 17 inning one. No, no, no. I went to the 18 inning one. I'm not... I think it was either against the Mariners or Marlins. So one, of the M, one of the M teams. I, 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 just, I just remember the I Canada Day one. When we're Donaldson walked it Oh, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't really remember. All I remember I'll, is I'll, I'll find the game over here. It was here. where they threw, they it threw Edwin out literally <laughs> in the first inning. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. I what I remember is, yeah. I remember finally like it was such a stalemate. Then finally in the 18th inning, you remember Roger Davis? I remember Roger Davis. He hits a single. Everyone's excited because Roger Davis is like the fastest was the fastest guy in baseball for a bit. Yeah, he was. He steals second. He steals third. I think there's, like, one out. So anyone's like, thank God, a hit, anything. Just put the ball in play, ends it. (laughs) I think it was, like, the laziest, like, little grounder. He still comes in because he's, like, fast as hell. Yeah. Yeah. What was left of the stadium? Because, once again, it was a six-hour game. Yeah. Yeah. Just goes nuts. I remember I was cheering because I could finally go home. I was like, I don't want (laughs) to leave until this game's done. I don't want to, like, I don't want to say I stayed 18 innings and didn't stay for the win. Wow, wow. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's probably an experience. I'm, I'm glad you stayed. Yeah. No, but you know what the funniest part was? Adam Lind was having a perfect game, but Adam he could. Lind? Adam Lind was Wait, having what? a perfect. He was five for five or six. For he six? was hitting oh, five for five, oh, throwing. but because oh, the game went so long, his sixth at bat, he like. Oh, so he, he was like he five got five, out, but then yes, he, he ended up five for six, and I was like, wow. poor Adam Lind. He literally like man, sucks. poor Lindy, poor Lind. <laughs> that's why he left. Oh man, but uh, it's uh, I guess like. There's a couple of moments I remember from like a lot of my moments from watching games is like ushering. Like I saw the big maple throw. I was watched the whole game where he, where he threw his no hitter here. His perfect game. Who did? Um, it was the big maple. Um, James Paxton. James Paxton. When the Mariners came in, he threw a perfect a perfect game. I was here. Oh, another that. team. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Oh, I also okay. was here. I was also was working when um, Justin Verlander threw a perfect game here. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, that. 
what what I um I worked uh the bat flip game. Oh, uh, did I, you? I that must have been got, crazy. I got the witness that. Got the uh, witness. Must um, have been a pain in the ass to clean up though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. The, so the craziest oh, game, so like the cr- the craziest seventh inning that that game. That was that, that was the craziest overall moment ever. Like when it came mm-hmm. from like yeah. the baseball god I I ever seen baseball gods, the way the stadium was acting, the yeah. home run, the 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 like between the Rangers and yeah. the the Martin throwing the ball off Chu's hand. That was um, it. Yeah, Ru- Odor coming in and us everyone hating him. Yeah. Three errors um, in a row. When you being there, I'm telling you, you couldn't hear anything. Anything. It was a constant like. Wah, wah. Yeah. You know when you hear something so loud, all you hear is like. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it's like audio noise. Yeah, because everyone's talking. Everyone's like. <laughs> yeah. And there's like 55,000 people there. And then after the whole the home run, the place went crazy. Like popcorn was flying. Everything flew in the air at once. Mm. Wow. After the home run, the place was like shaking. Yeah. yeah. And the roof was closed. So yeah, it Ooh. was. Hella loud. So yeah. it was it was crazy loud. That's, I just remember from that game thinking that we couldn't lose, but a lot of people forget that uh, this is where baseball gods came to play. Martin made the mistake. He threw it off Chu's hand, and that was the run that came in, the, the go-ahead run. Mm-hmm. When Martin was at bat, he hit it to Elvis, who made an error. Then mm-hmm. he went to second, Elvis made another error. Mm-hmm. And Elvis Andrews on the Texas was a very short-handed shortstop. Yep. Then they put Dalton Pompey in to the pinch run. Mm-hmm. And at third base... He steals it. He steals this, but he was, he was caught was red-handed. But the thing was... Um, Adrian Beltre was a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Dropped the ball. No, he he threw it. Oh, he, he threw, threw it, it to Elvis, Elvis, and Elvis he dropped the ball. Him. There you go. But like Elvis, basically, the baseball guys repaid ball Russell Russell Martin because every wherever yeah. Russell Martin went, they dropped the ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's because the call against them was unfair. It's a miracle. So yeah, it's, people, a mir- yeah. it's like a miracle. People forget the context about the home run. I forgot about it too until I rewatch. Not rewatched it. I saw. I saw it, and then they were talking about what led up to it, and I completely forgot about where, yeah, he threw it, but the batter was standing in the way, so it went off the batter's thing, and because it was a catcher error, the guy could come in. Mm-hmm. I forgot the three consecutive errors that led two yeah. people on base so he could get the lead, I think, 5-3, mm-hmm. 5-4. Mm-hmm. Just like, it was a crazy, especially because it, it was a do or die game, so it, it was, was a crazy it, game. It was so big. Um, who Was it Edwin that had the big hit before that, got the, that, that tied the game before uh, Batista came in, or the go-ahead? I think we were losing when Bautista came in. I think I think he it did. Was tired, hit, wasn't I it? think he did hit home run. Yeah, Edwin. someone someone hit a bomb before. Yeah. It's like the unsung bomb. Unsung bomb before Batista. Because everyone remembers Batista's bomb, yeah. bat flip and everything. The Batista. It sounds like the Batista, Batista bomb. bomb. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> Wrestling was the best, bro. Yeah, WWE. <laughs> oh WWE my goodness. Were the best, dude. Do you, do you guys? Play John or Cena. Watch? I loved I, it as I a just kid. Played. I never, I never watched. You never it. watched? No, I never. Watched. When I tell you, I stayed up to watch the the Raw. custody battle. Oh, you watched it? Look, I watched it. I remember watching it as like a little child who barely spoke English. It was just because they were the two Latino characters fighting over a child. Yeah. I was like, I have to watch this. One, right? Who's your? My favorite growing up was Eddie. Like one of my favorite was Eddie Guerrero. Ed, Eddie was always one of the best. That Latino Heat. Yeah. I used to like his theme song. He used to come in the Lowrider. Yeah. I definitely would resonate with with Latino Heat back in the day. Yeah. I was so sad, obviously, when. When the tragedy yeah. happened and everything yeah. but were you, were you ever a big john cena fan of course dude like to, to this <laughs> day see i still you know he came back fan. recently like yeah, 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 yeah i saw that a couple of weeks ago still word life basic thugonomics yeah <laughs> wow. you know before he was john cena the person he, he was like a, a doctor rapper like that was his character when he first started really yeah i think i heard about that so he was a rapper and he'd come in um he was kind of like based off of Marky Mark, who's not. Yeah, Marky, Marky Mark. Mark. That was his he's character. A, he has a square head like them, I guess, is why they tried yeah. to make him look like it. It's, it's so strange. Like, all the plot twists that go into WWE, mm-hmm. just such a, like, creative thing. And as a child, you're like, this is one of the best sports ever. I thought, like, I. And then growing up, you're I like, I used damn. to fight people for saying it wasn't real. Yeah, you I get s- upset. I'd be like, friend you like watch that. wrestling, I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be <laughs> like, you're weird. I'd be like, you're weird. I, I remember <laughs> once I was in a friend I was in his house and he loved WWE and me and my brother were like that's fake he's like that's fake that's fake pulls up on his desktop like some dude jumping off a 50 foot like ladder grabbing the suitcase <laughs> midair and like elbow dropping he's like you're telling me that's fake and I was like yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's like okay leave them yeah. you know it's, it's always speaking of people that do that I don't know why it's always Shane McMahon doing all the the high jumping off the high like, he's not even athletic because that's yeah. to be like the no. train guys yeah, yeah. It's, it's now Shane McMahon and his family like they're in so much of it. Like, they're so involved in the story. Yeah. Like, it's like his daughter was married to somebody else. Triple H. Triple, Triple H, H, yeah. She's, she, has, mm. she is in real life, too. So, yeah. it's, like, it's kind of crazy. 
Yeah, it's just so strange. I mean, uh, Tay's a big fan of WWE too, Hala Tay, and mm-hmm. she's uh, she she like um told me a lot about how like when they're on the road a lot. Obviously, you really can only date and hang out with other wrestlers, people, yeah. wrestlers right? Yeah. It's kind of like going like on a rock band exactly. kind of thing. <laughs> Except you're just a bunch of these guys and yeah, because they're all the same tour buses and stuff all the time, mm-hmm. right? So they're just having like they're having some weird wrestling flirting. Yeah, I guess so. Like wrestling orgies. On you or something, <laughs> some next stuff. Was it Booker T? That Queen swore Charmaine. on live television. He He's... swore on live television, and McMahon said that, McMahon said the N word on live television. Oh no, that's who that was. But uh, it was so weird. It was the it was a so it was the most nonchalant cameo, like 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 whatever it was um whatever they did their skit. Yeah, and yeah. It, it literally went under the rug. Like no one noticed it. Yeah, and even nowadays, it's not taken seriously. No, it's not. It's, it's, it was basically it's between it was, right it was Charmel, Booker T, John Cena, and him. Yeah, it was, it was. It's it's such a che- it's such a cheesy little scene that no, like you're like what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> you can't even say anything about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, good times. Are you guys still watching it now or no? Not uh, as much. Are they still? Are they still yeah, it's, it's still going on. It's still right? going yeah, on. It still, it still on. happens, but they, they've yeah. had so many characters over the years. Like yeah, yeah. Snoop I don't Dogg, know. Donald Snoop Trump. <laughs> The oh, guy from Arrow. I guess, yeah, I guess people. Yeah, they've yeah. Stephen Amell. Every, Stephen Amell. Yeah, everyone comes in, but like, you know, I, I still keep up with him. Bad time. Bunny was in it. I oh, am, he yeah. still really? is. Yeah, he shows right up because he loves it because he lives, uh, I think, Miami. Yeah. He has a house in Miami, so he shows up randomly. He's like, yeah, Bad <laughs> yeah. Bunny. What hasn't Bad Bunny done? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I just like, you know, speaking of Bad Bunny, I need to go listen to some of his tracks right now. So um, <laughs> I guess we're going to have to wrap it up. <laughs> Yeah. All right, <laughs> um, guys. Uh, thank you again uh, for tuning in for for our sports talk. It's been, yeah. I know it's been a while. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys watched our last Blitz video. Um, we played a very fun game. Uh, we're definitely gonna do that again definitely. very soon. Maybe we will get some footage of uh, of all of us playing. Yeah, and I'll sure. destroy you guys in the next game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah. So with further ado, my name is Jez. I'm Cody. I'm Carlos. And I'm Andres. And yeah, guys. guys. We out. Peace.